our Prophet والسلام, has spoken and I've just given you the hadith from Sahih Bukhari uh, about Mutan, a plague which will kill you the way sheep are killed. This is one of the six that he mentioned, six things, the Sahih, the hadith which is at the time of the Hazrat Tabuk. Tabuk. So the Arabs are the ones who have to be most, most concerned about coronavirus. And that is that they, every Arab government, Algeria, Mauritania, uh, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, uh, uh, Egypt, uh, Iraq, Syria, Jordan, Yemen, the whole of the Arab, Jazeera al Arab, you should all be sending monitors, people who can go to Beijing, uh, to monitor how the Chinese government is dealing with this problem. How can they contain it? See how the Chinese government is operating and uh, uh, learn from what they are doing, their mistakes and will they correct things. Check to see how the World Health Organization is responding to it. Because tomorrow, after the trial runs over, tomorrow the plague is going to hit the Arab world. And they will want to ensure that you are not prepared for it. And that huge numbers of Arabs will die as prophesied by the Prophet And so for, for the whole world of Islam, yes, it is important. But coronavirus is far, far more important for the Arab world because this is Akhiru Zaman and in Akhiru Zaman there is a prophecy of a virus attack on the Arab world which will kill huge numbers of, um, of Arabs. What else can we do to protect ourselves from virus? and from these dangers of Akhir al-Zaman. Uh, let me remind you of the ayah of Surah al-Isra of the Qur'an. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بَعَدَوْزُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَإِذَا كَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ And when you recite the Qur'an, وَإِذَا كَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ Qur'an means a recitation. So when you recite that recitation, جَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ حِجَابًا مَسْتُورًا We will place a, a hijab which will separate you from that world which rejects belief in the hereafter, which is the modern Western world and the secularized world of today. It is from that world that all of these things are coming. It is from the Judeo-Christian alliance which leads that world, which refutes, which does not believe in the hereafter. It's just, just words for them. They don't have any consequential belief in the hereafter, no. Uh, the religion is only paperwork. This is what Allah can do for you. He can protect you that Allah will place a hijab, a hijab, a curtain, a barrier which will protect you from them. But for that, you not only have to recite the Qur'an every day, but you have to recite the Qur'an as it ought to be recited. فَإِذَا كَرَأْنَاهُ فَاتَّبِعْ Quran, And when we have recited the Qur'an, Allah is speaking, you must follow that way of recitation. And his, his way we know, others may have more knowledge than me, of course they do have. But I know that he recited the whole Quran in Ramadan and did it through the angel. He recited the whole Quran in Ramadan. So we have one month in, recite, in which to recite the whole Quran. That's the way, the divine way to recite the Quran. And you'll have one juice for every day. And of course, you know, you must not break up the Quran into bits and pieces. Kurinni anan nazirum mubin. Say to them, 
Oh Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam I am a warner And I warn in a way which is plain and clear No ambiguity Kama anzalna ala al-muktasimin Here is the warning And this warning is sent down to the muktasimin Who are the muktasimin The answer is there Al-lazina Ja'alu al-Qur'an Iddin They are those who break up the Qur'an into bits and pieces They take Surah Al-Baqarah And when they reach 141 They chop it And they say that is Jews number one And they go to Baqarah 252 And when they reach there they say Jews number two And they chop it Allah says Al-lazina ja'alu al-Qur'an iddin They are those who break up the Qur'an into bits and pieces And then he says Fawarabbika Fawarabbika O Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam I take an oath by your Rabb لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ I'm going to question every single one of them بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ For what they have done to this Qur'an So there is a correct way to recite the Qur'an cover to cover once a month And if you do that Then when others are dying like sheep Because of the epidemic Allah can protect you The Qur'an can protect you because وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ هِجَابًا مَسْتُورًا So one of the ways in which you can protect yourself from the coronavirus and from the other dangers of Akhir al-Zaman is to recite the Qur'an from cover to cover once a month, every day, one Jews a day and to recite it the way that Allah recited it. This is uh, our comment on the coronavirus. <laughs>